politically incorrect, Bill Maher. Thank you very much. All right. Let us meet our panel. <laughs> A uh, first, a blues legend celebrating his birthday today. Oh, wow, that's good. He won his second Grammy for his newest album, Shouting in Key, Taj Mahal and the Phantom Blues Band. Mr. Taj Mahal, ladies and gentlemen. Taj? How you doing, Bill? You're looking character. Thank you. <laughs> he is the president and CEO and in house counsel for the polling company, our friend Kellyanne Conway now. It's Conway. Hey. Hello, Mrs. Conway. She has got four Emmys and at least one Golden Globe, and now she's got a book. It's called Today I'm a Ma'am. <laughs> Valerie Harper, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be at the Nugget Hotel and Casino in Sparks, Nevada on June 1st and June 2nd on the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas through October. One of the best nuggets in comedy. David Brenner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mr. David Brenner, how you doing? Okay. All right, I was pausing about... Uh, Conway, because I've known you for years as Kellyanne Fitzpatrick, but you sure. just got married. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So you will be... Uh, two weeks ago, right? That's two weeks two ago. Two weeks ago. Wow. Really, really bad. So <laughs> working out. I mean, how's it <laughs> And they said it wouldn't last. <laughs> it's really exciting. So not a long honeymoon. Okay, you're here. Let me talk about the nuclear family. That was one of the big stories in the paper this week. They, the census report came back, and uh, the nuclear family, you know, which is basically the traditional... Stay-at-home mom, working dad, 2.3 kids, right. Guatemalan maid. You know. Uh, okay. This is, this is, conservatives love this stay-at-home, this, this yeah. model. And the census said, basically, our country now has less than 25%, less than a quarter of people are in the nuclear family. Of course, lots of people went ballistic about this. I love this name, Bridget Marr, spelled the same way. Ooh. But I swear to God, we're not related. She's in the Family Research Council. She said, this data shows we need to regain the importance of marriage as a social institution. Why? Why does it show that? I don't know. Well, I, I, my personal feeling about the nuclear family, I think it's real important. I think it's wonderful if a child can have a mom and dad. I think they're two parents. But I also think, you know, the nuclear family is very recent in human history. Right. It only is about 70 years. Really? Before that, it was extended family, yeah, Bill. Right. And it takes and a cousins. village. That's right. Exactly. That's, 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 yeah. The Chinese model has worked for 5,000 years really nicely until communism Until they came. stole our plane. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but, Bastards. So, so, <laughs> no, no. are going to be See? But, so, <laughs> so this, is kinda, this is kind of new, this... This, this model, and, I, I, and I, it also kind of dampens other possibilities of families, which I don't well, like. Lots of people, I think there's all kinds of lots families. Lots of people stuff. from the nuclear family come out crappy, like Klebold and Harris and Hitler had nuclear yeah. families. Right. Exactly. And lots of people yeah. without a nuclear family are fine. So a civil right. society can still have as a goal the most nurturing environment possible for a child, and nobody can really argue with the statistics that do show children who come from illegitimate households are more likely to use drugs to uh, go... What do you mean legitimate Wait, wait, wait. What I gotta, I gotta, I gotta just say something here. I have, I have three sons, and I've been with my wife now 13 and a half years. We got married last year. We were non-nuclear. We were afraid of a meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where the, you have a nuclear family, the kid comes up with two heads. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, and I wish everybody, <laughs> I wish everybody were as happy as I am and had three boys as great as mine, and we were not, they're all illegitimate right. as far as society is concerned, what but they're mean? very legitimate to me. Right, I mean, if you look at the statistics, there's lots of unmarried couples, lots of divorced people, lots right. of same-sex marriage, yeah. and whatever Rosie O'Donnell's up to, there's lots of people. <laughs> Right, right. Adoptive are reinventing family. how the family exactly. goes. And but actually, there's why more we... single people now than ever before. In other words, I think we shouldn't confuse causation with coincidence. Some of the some mm. of the reason that we don't have right. that we don't have um, a, a mother, a father, and children right now is for three reasons. Number one, you've got younger people right now, young professionals 
deferring marriage, not dismissing it. They want to live alone or they want to live with friends of the same sex for a while and get their feet on the ground professionally. The average age for what first marriage did? now for a man is 27. The average age for a first marriage now for a woman is 25. Way too I, young, yeah. both cases. Way I too agreed. young. I agreed. Bill, <laughs> Bill you is with your <laughs> man. <laughs> and then you've got elderly people now living longer, thank God, and in yep. unconventional types of settings, in exactly. group houses and everything. Well, what about everyone who's yeah. shacking up? What are, no, That's they count? what it is. It's got to shack up. The My son's 19. He's Let's got a girlfriend. They're together. Man, boomity bangity boom I love that. <laughs> the... The number, <laughs> the number of unmarried couples in the 90s doubled. Right. I think, you know, remember when we had the culture war? I think yeah. it's over. I think the conservatives lost. Okay, that 50s fantasy is not coming back. Sorry, no. Pat Buchanan. Yeah, the Clintons right. were a nuclear family. That was a husband, a wife, and a daughter. And a girlfriend, and a girlfriend, and a girlfriend, and a girlfriend. And a girlfriend. I set you up, and you did it. Right. But you know, I, yeah. I, I nuclear but how about so is Newt Gingrich and so is Rudy Giuliani? Exactly. Right. That's a nuclear but it's not family. Yeah, that's going to explode. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't understand that. But I don't understand. If, if, you know, a lot of these people who are living together aren't all liberals. A lot of conservatives. Right. That's correct. And not a lot of conservatives. Right. Is right. conservative. That's, yeah, that's not everybody's conservative wants to get married. A lot of them are shacking up too. But I think it's wonderful that there are alternatives for people. That's that it, it isn't one way to do well, it. And that one way, that dream, has not proved to be so wonderful. No. And right. clearly, Kellyanne, the, the nuclear family is very mom, dad, and the children only together has not been a, a way of the mean, world. I grew up with South oh, Jersey grandma. version of the Golden Girls. I grew up with my mother, her mother, and two of my mother's unmarried sisters. Oh, that's Four fabulous. Okay. Italian Catholic women raising me in this household. That's amazing. That's You're fabulous. Not gay. That's you know fabulous. Amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm very lucky. You're not gay. I mean, that usually when there's a lot no. of... Oh, i got to say, gay. there's a lot of gay... That's also part of this. There's a lot of gay, a lot of lesbians who are together who raising... Who should have a family if they wish to. Oh, I love right. that. I mean, what do you say, Taj? No, it's not an issue. Not an issue. No. <laughs> it's, not, it's not an issue. Oh, yeah, like he's going to object to that. No. This is a guy who really looks like Excuse he'd be upset me. about lesbian couples. No. What, is, what are you really going to do You're, about it? Tell me. What are you going to really do about it? Then? What are you really going to be able to do about it? There's nothing you can do about it. Just watch. But That's don't, all no, I no, 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 no. Yeah. 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 Well, it's a response to uh, the Bush Energy Plan, which he released today. Greenpeace, get this, dumped a mound of coal and oil barrels at Dick Cheney's residence. And Cheney said he's going to keep this stuff. He said the barrels he can use to burn discarded environmental regulations. <laughs> and, uh, and the coal, that takes care of Christmas shopping. <laughs> and today, and a protester hit him with an egg. Uh, interesting, <laughs> as he watched the egg run down his suit, he said, Wow, I just flashed back to the Oval Office. Um, I'm glad we have uh, two recent ex-New Yorkers. And you say you're going back to New York? But well, no, 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 I think I'm, I'm going to go to Vegas, eventually New York. I've had it here. Yeah, yeah. you're always going to be in I'm New a New Yorker. Yorker. Yeah. You're and I'm married one. And you just yeah. married one. Okay, I was born so there. Let's, yeah. and you were born, born there. there. So let's talk about whatever we saw about Rudy Giuliani. You know, I love Republican sex scandals because... You know, it's always infused with a measure of hypocrisy that you don't find with the Democrats. You expect the Democrats Where's the sex in this to, scandal? to screw around. What? Where's the sex in the Rudy Giuliani scandal? Well, let me explain to folks who may not be following what's going. Rudy Giuliani, the moralist, right. devoutly Catholic mayor of New York, when he's not trying to close down porno shops exactly. or strip clubs, has been banging someone, not his wife. Okay. Um, whoa, whoa. How do we know this? It's kind of Spin City meets Three's Company. There's a... And, and the scandal is that he lives at Gracie Mansion with his estranged and wife. And the Roper? And the children. Wait a second. Two kids. Let me explain it, darling. Okay, he lives at Gracie Mansion with his estranged wife, but his girlfriend, his mistress, visits. And the ex-wife, not yet ex, but the estranged wife, has gone to court saying, look, is it too much? while we are still officially married and we have kids, that the girlfriend doesn't come over to the house. Well, and I agree with her. Wait, 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 wait. I don't agree with her. Absolutely. When has she been there? To, to our knowledge, she Judy has. Nathan has been there on official business for the New York Yankees official welcoming business. parade. There's no evidence that she's been there, that she sleeps over there, that there's a They didn't welcome the Yankees. There. They didn't even welcome. There was no parade. for the Rockettes. 
at Gracie Mansion, public function. She has every right to be there as if the mayor had invited me or you. I think just out of common courtesy, until the divorce is final, let he'll meet her at the plaza, or go to her place, right. or date. Be open about it that you are well, with. Well, they are very and open. And I, I think mean... Judy Nathan should say, you know what? I'll be classy. I won't go to Gracie Mansion. Right. While Donna Hanover, who helped. I think it's a little. You're posing this. I don't know. I love you. Didn't like nuclear family. You're you're posing this. Well, this is about courtesy, not a nuclear family. But you're posing this as if. It's a mystery whether or not the mayor is having an affair well, with is, her. It he is. admitted it in a oh, press conference that his good. wife didn't even know about when he said the marriage was over. That's how his wife found out the marriage but was over. Exactly she was like, oh, wow, i got to watch TV more. What is that? She's on TV. Seriously, that's what happened. Oh, no, so, so it's established that this is his new girlfriend it's and the marriage is over, but she's still living in the house. Well, it happens it? to the people. House, since they've decided to get divorced, Bill, Gracie Mansion has two functions. There is a private residence and right. there is the public Gracie Mansion where That's the right. mayor and the city of That's New right. York do their business. To everyone's knowledge okay. here, she has, Miss Nathan has only been there for official functions. In public, she's probably not go at all. I'm sure she's still the girlfriend, classy. and that's still his house. Well, wait a second. Who does it hurt? In other words, has it been proved it's that it hurts the fifteen-year-old woman? Oh, classy! It's I'm not classy. It's not classy. We defended the president of the United States who let an intern <laughs> him, and we're worried about classy now. Yeah. 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 Well. I, okay. I'm on. The difference on her side. Oh, go ahead. Now you tell her what the difference is. Tell her. There's, there is a no. I'm on her side. Oh. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> really? No, because because well, then the, I'll tell you what the difference is. <laughs> well, go around ahead. Um, the situation is is that this 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 is a um, a New York government place. This is what this man has. It's not like a separate. It's not like a separate residence. The woman should, you know, once she figured it out that this guy is out doing whatever he's doing. It's like, adios. I'll see you in court. Done. Over. The wife. The wife should no, come. Yeah, Donna, I, I think the, I think the mayor should leave. I think the mayor should leave. Hey, no, 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 no. The mayor Wait. should say, you have the house because she's going to get no, it anyway. No, 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 she's not going to get it. She's not going to get that out. She's not going to get that out. She's not going to get that out. But as Kellyanne was saying, let her go to City Hall. Let her go to... Is, is she part of his administration? Is she, is that no, who Judy Nathan is? No, she's just his mistress. No, she's got no, no, she's, well, I just think it would be an official just job. decorum. Yeah. She, she, yeah. I would think Judy and would want to say, you know what, I'm not going to embarrass Donna Hanover or the children. It is their home. And it is, and they've been there a long time. And this has nothing to do with Republicanism. I think Giuliani did great things for the city of New York. Yeah. I very live popular. there. I appreciate great. him. Great. So this is great. not about Republicans. No. I'm just talking about manners. About the nuclear yeah. family. And the, Except the yes, I am, in, in a way. Why are they together anyway? If they're, if, they're, if they're getting divorced, why are they both living in the same, the same house? house? Not to upset the kids. It's at the end of the school what? year. It's, oh, it's oh, more oh, convenient. Yeah, not the the school year. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. You've got a family that's falling apart. The, 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 yeah. the yeah, fact that the kids are there looking at these parents do what they're doing is, is right. hurting them. Right. Get yeah. out of there. If you're a sensitive mother and that's what you know is going on and nurturing is what your trip is, hey, right. ow. Well, I don't like Rudolph Giuliani. Oh, you don't like him? No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm not coming from my life, Rudy. I mean, no, no, no. I got, you know, I got, I, I got some, I got some stuff to say. Right. Forty-one bullets in. I'ma do giallo. Hey, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I'm a black man. I've been on the street in New York City where the cabs have walked by me. I, gotcha. I have walked into a store, found a blonde, and said, "Hey, lady, come on out here, distributor." She stands out there. Eh! I get a cab. I, I hey, know. It's also a good way to get a blonde. <laughs> you need a blonde. <laughs> Uh, Not that I did like it. <laughs> I wish you had that. That shows you what a great city it is. You yeah. can't get a cab, but you can get a blonde. No, no, no. All right. Join us tomorrow when our guest will be from Blink-182, Mark Poppins. Playboy's Playmate of the Year, Brandi Roderick. Actress, Alexandra Wentworth. And social commentator, Lakita Gard. O.J. Simpson is giving Robert Blake advice. I'm not kidding. He's giving him, he said, don't watch TV, uh, don't take a lie detector test, let your lawyer do the talking. He also said it was smart for Blake to go back for the gun, because he said, when you don't go back to the restaurant, uh, sometimes you also have to kill a waiter. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh.
good. Now, speaking of distasteful, (laughs) I've been wanting to talk about this for several weeks now. This came out in the news. In Canada, they have cigarette packs now. Show the picture here. This is what is shown on a cigarette pack. You got a close up in on that guy. Look at that. A guy on a respirator. Look at this one and the teeth. Disgusting teeth. That's on the cigarette pack. Now, uh, I love the cross section of the brain. The cross section of the brain. I just, you don't have a close up of that. Yeah, there's a lung. Thank well, God, cigarettes don't give you hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe they do. Um, a new, but, a new photograph. I mean, I think a, I think a warning on a cigarette pack or on any product is fair game. Not that anyone doesn't know at this point. But is this not nanny state badgering? Yes. It's Thank the pleasure you. police, absolutely. I mean, are we going to replace the golden arches with skull yeah. and crossbones? We it's should. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. Yeah. Well, they kill more people than this, or sure. just as many. That would be wrong. This is completely right. wrong. This is the pleasure police. I'd say break them out and let's smoke them, but we're in California where you can't, where the anti-smoking she, she movement smoke really took. No, but I wish I did. You know, I, I, I wish I was a Why would you want to smoke? Why? Oh, why would you want to smoke? I used amazing to smoke. Amount, uh, an amazing yeah. amount of kids are, are le- no. Lung cancer, stroke, oh. a- a- emphysema. Um, it doesn't do any the, good. What's the other one? Right. Well, you can't remember like I'm going all through the all Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alzheimer's. Yeah. Alzheimer's. Yeah. All that. It's all linked to smoking, and smoking is bad. And I'm it thinking bad. in a multi um, Lots of things are language. Bad. Know I, that, let though. me just say this: yeah, a multi-language society. I think pictures are good. I like it in the airport when I see the girl. I know that's the bathroom to go into and not the symbol for the guy. So I'm saying I think the pictures are good, and I think if they're shocking, if it stops one smoker, I'm for it. Well, what shocks us in this country? We, we should not be smoking. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, but is it the government's it's job? No, I think they're just upping the gradient to try to, be, to bring you know, home what happened. Valerie, if the government really cared about yeah, the rest of us being addicted to smoking, right. they would ban it, but they don't have the guts to ban it because right. nobody is addicted to tobacco like the federal government because nobody Thank benefits you. more from the sale of a pack of cigarettes well, than the Canadian, federal government. This is Canadian, first of all. This right. Right. There no. No. There but this will be here soon enough. Right. Right. Because, oh, of course, because no politician could resist presenting this as a bill. Because who's going to vote against this? I'm against evil cigarettes. Of course you are. Yeah. You're a good man. But you're saying that's the hypocrisy. Of course. No, the real hypocrisy to me is they won't let people who are seriously ill smoke marijuana. Oh. Now, what would you put on that's a box? Horrible. What would you put on a box of marijuana, a guy like this? <laughs> exactly. What do you think? Well, yeah. you know, I mean, cigarettes, you yeah. know. I doubt if you've ever had any marijuana, Taj. No, not me. Scout's honor. <laughs> no, hey, come on. Come on, come on, come on. The deal, you know, wait, cigarettes, you know, it's like you knew you, that train was going to, or that boat was going to Shanghai when you got on it. You know what I mean? That's, what, that's really what it yeah. is. You know, you already know it. But sometimes people need to have a little bit of, uh, you well, know, what shock in this culture anymore. We've got our right. shock absorbers are so thick that diseased teeth aren't going to. It's the same damn picture for gingivitis in the dentist office. As a matter, as a it matter do of anything. fact, I'm you're right. They work. I hope it works. As a Kelly. matter of fact, but people will floss. But they may not stop I, but I think they got to exaggerate. They got to put on their so. warning for Surgeon General. You smoke a cigarette, your penis will fall off. That's it. There you go. Okay, that'll yeah. stop. You don't need a picture. You just no, think of that and you quit. It. But do you know that the yeah, cigarette right. companies at one point were in trouble because they were accused of subliminal advertising of a skull and crossbones. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. They were putting right. a skull and crossbones subliminally into the ads. In other words, People have a death wish when they smoke. Kids are rebelling when they right. smoke. That's true. So it's the bad in it that is as much of the attraction. That's right. So by putting this on the cover, kids are just going to go, <laughs> not me, cool. Why yeah. pr- pr- pass around the pictures? I, mean, this I don't know. I hope not. Makes but, it more you know, I just think it's a terrible... But the thing about smoking is you just keep quitting. 
a friend of mine once said that yeah. he quit 27 times and it finally Took paid. Me now, in our yeah. polling, we asked, we asked parents, of all the things that worry you most about your children, what concerns you most? Smoking was like 2%. You know, in other words, it was open-ended, you know, violence, it's, early death, yes. teen pregnancy Smart, was yeah. higher, drinking. Nobody's mother ever said, don't smoke and drive. Right. But yet if more people, it. more people die, more yes. people die from the cigarettes. That's right. You know, I've buried a lot of friends from, from smoking, okay? Exactly. My best friends, two exactly. best friends died in the last two years. We all started smoking when we were nine years old. I quit a long time ago. I smoked three and a half packs a day. They didn't quit. And when you stand at a grave of a good friend of yours from when you're seven years old, man, that's what you really know. Smoking is bad news. It's stupid. It's not hip anymore. No. And whatever they do to stop it, I'm for it. I'm for it, okay. too. I'm I have to take it. a commercial. We'll be right back. Taj Mahal new record, Valerie's Today I Am a Man. Tomorrow, Blink 182's Mark Hoppus, Brandy Roderick, Clement of the Year, Alexandra Wentworth, and Lakita Garg.